Hello, I'm very late for my Facebook Live. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies. Let me just find on my laptop. There we go. Okay. I don't expect people to jump on today because of the beautiful sunshine that we have after a week of rain. But here I am, nearly 15 minutes late. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> It's just one of those days. <laughs> and I don't have my new software going yet. I'm still trying to figure all that out. But I will get there. I just need to practice a bit more. So today we're going to make a card using the Textured Chic products or suite of products on page 98 and 99. I've been having a bit of a play with that. Um, so this is one I've made. I don't know if you can see it very well. I haven't put a greeting on it yet. <laughs> And these were two other fancy fold ones I made, which I think I'll use for my Makeup Monday on Monday. So I got this design off Susan Campfield in America. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Oh, no, have you got COVID? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the ones I've played with with the fancy fold. Um, so I think I'll do that one for my Makeup Monday. So we're just going to make a normal card. And let me put you up into my phone holder. And I'll try really hard not to drop you. <laughs> so let me do this. Turn you around. There we go. And I'll just move that forward a bit. Whoops. Have everything fall down. So sorry I'm so late. Oh, you flooded in. Of course. I actually, I thought about you um, earlier in the week. And I thought, oh, my gosh, you're at Chilway. I hope you can survive. You're not, you've got no flood water in your house, though, have you? I hope not. Goodness. Um, so, yeah, I'm late. I was running around doing all sorts of things and lost track of time. Raced in the door at 1.30. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> so, oh that's no good I do hope you haven't got water in your house goodness me that would be terrible if you did have okay so this is the textured sweet chic <laughs> textured chic suite of products um on page 98 and 99 in the annual catalog so I've just been having a little bit of a play this is the one we're going to recreate but just slightly different colors just with strips of the designer series paper and this beautiful nun in the house oh dear <laughs> we've got water through our garage but not like too damaging we've got everything lifted up so the little bit of water that came into our garage didn't <laughs> my husband thinks it's terrible but it's not that tragic <laughs> oh dear oh poor poor you lynn i'm sorry for that <laughs> um so this yeah this is the one i haven't even put a greeting on it that's what i was playing with i think on wednesday it was did a bit of heat embossing used some of the papers and the dyes and these were the two i made earlier in the week which i think i'll recreate for my makeup monday um so in this sheet of product suite of products there's a a piece of paper in the designer series paper that's got snowflakes and you've got snowflakes in the stamp set and also in the dies so you could not that we have snow at christmas but you could put this into your christmas um collection of sets that you could use so i've used the snowflake the paper and the snowflake dies with some um glimmer paper and this is a fancy fold. So it's a cute fancy fold and it sits like this. And <clears throat> I follow a US demonstrator called Susan Campfield. And she she came up with this one. And I really like the design. It's just a little bit different. So I think I'll do this one for my Makeup Monday. So this is the paper in the textured chic designer series paper that's got the snowflakes. So I've done the glimmer snowflakes again and yeah so I really like that fold it's just a bit interesting and a bit different 
So that'll be my Makeup Monday, I think. But this is the one we're going to recreate just using slightly different um, colour combination. I'm going to do a white card base with the pool party card front and the strips of paper. So let's close up the catalogue, not the, the grid paper. <laughs> and we'll get on to that. So I've got my thick Whisper White card base. It is a great fold. Just really interesting, I thought. And I thought, yes, I'm going to do that one. <laughs> I do like fancy folds. They're not sort of cards that you'd, you'd, you'd make on mass production. But um, I do like a fancy fold card. I've seen another one that's really interesting. And we went and saw, Hubby and I went and saw Mary Poppins um, for his birthday. And when the curtains opened with Mary Poppins and the stage came out, it sort of all folded up so you could see the attic in the house. It was so cool. And I've seen this card and it just reminds me of the stage for Mary Poppins. So I'm going to have a crack at that one as well. That would be fun. So let me let me put this to one side and let me grab my paper and my trimmer. So we want five strips of paper that are two and a half centimetres wide by 9.5 centimetres long. So I always go to my scraps first. So we want 9.5 centimetres and we'll cut, cut up our scraps first before we hack into a new piece. So what's on the back of that? Oh yeah, we could use the back of that. So this one might be a fraction too wide so oh no I think that's two and a half centimeters as well so there you go so we'll do that so how, how wide that's 9.5 so we'll do two and a half for this one so quite often I just do strips and turn them over to make them that one's interesting and I really like this one too I'm not sure if that's going to be 9.5. It is. I like this spotty one with the gold spots. I like that one. Oh, I like that side too. Let's have a look. We'll just cut this one down then we'll choose. Um, so, are the waters receding now, Lynn? I hope they are. Shit away and... Tugra Lakes, they all popped it so badly up there. Okay. Okay, so we'll bring that back in. I'll move my card base to one side so we can work out what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so that's the other one. Will I go with? So we could do that or I could get rid of that one and put that one in. Although that's got shells, because we might do flowers this time. I'm not sure. Oh, we don't want two of them. I want that one. I think that looks pretty nice. I think. Or do we want two of those? Oh, that looks nice. Like that. Okay. Let me get my... My mat. Eighth, the hate flood I've had survived since moving here, but this has been the worst. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. That's terrible. Okay, so what I do when I'm doing my strip card, strip a DSP card, is I just put one on each end to start with, and then I sort of go into the middle so I get my spacing right. I haven't zoomed in today. I, I was rushing, that's why. But I'm sure you can follow up. So we'll put... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do... Do the dots on either end today. Don't overthink it. So... There we go. 
and then I just make sure my spacing is right. But I find five strips of two and a half centimetres on a 14.4 by 10 centimetre card front works really well. Now why is that all scuffy? Let me just tidy that up a little bit. Put it in the bottom. Um, you can sort of space them out and get them quite nice. So let's do that. So there we go. So the other thing I'm going to do this afternoon is play with my daughter's wedding invitation because <laughs> she's had a bit of a change of heart. Not sure she wants to go down the sunflower line. She doesn't want too many sunflowers for the wedding. Like too much going on with sunflowers. <laughs> oh dear me. So I said, well, I'll have a little play. She likes the pretty medallion stamp in the annual catalogue, the big background stamp. <laughs> yeah, that's the attitude to have. <laughs> Plus she can craft away, of course. Perfect. <laughs> um, and yes, you can always find somebody worse off, can't you? That's what I always think. So that's a card front. This is just my go-to card if I can't think of what to do. It just is a nice card. We could go this way today. Actually, we might do that. So let me get some white card stock because... This is some scraps. I don't know if my scraps will be big enough. You never know. I've got more. So we could do shells again. I do like the shells, but we could use my leftover shells from that card. <clears throat> and, we could, and a snowflake. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure how the flowers work. I haven't stamped with the flowers. So let's get some blocks out. And see what happens. I don't know whether I'll heat emboss this one. So I think I'll stamp in petal pink. <laughs> so I think I'll stamp in petal pink and see what happens and I will need my backing my foam piece because that is always helpful and then what color will I go over it with let me think well calypso coral will be a bit too much let's have a little play and see what we think and if we don't like it we can always go to the dye. Is there a dye? Yes, there's a pretty dye. We could do that. Well, let's see. Now, just got to work out how this goes over the top without bringing my head in. So this is a two-step stamp. Oh, that's quite nice. A two-step stamp set. So I think I might do another one of those. And we might do a pool party one. This is quite easy to line up too. She says, you watch her make a big mess of this one. <laughs> Not so good, but that's okay. Um, so that's that. It is beautiful DSP. I really only got this sweet for the DSP, but then I thought, oh, I'll get the bundle as well, because I thought I should. <laughs> so let's do a pool party flower. I'm just not quite sure what colour to go around the pool party flower, though. That's a bit tricky. Balmy blue go around pool party. Hey, no, you know what? I wonder if silk succulent would work. So this is creating on the fly for Denise. She doesn't normally do this. I did have a bit of an idea what I wanted to do though. Um, 
And that looks quite nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> now I'm going to get my big shot. Oh, not my big shot. You know what I mean. <laughs> that other thing. The die cutting machine. <laughs> So this stamp set's got flowers, it's got shells, it's got leaves, and it's got snowflakes in it. So it's quite a versatile little set. And um, after I got the bundle, I thought, yeah, this is actually quite good. So that's, that's the stamp set. So you've got the shells, that's two-step, flowers, the leaves, the snowflake, Snowflakes, not two step, and then these are all the dies. Put this paper in there. <laughs> You're rethinking. I'm sorry, Lynn. <laughs> I apologize. I really like this die. This was the die that interested me the most. I can't work out what that is. I don't know what that is. I really don't. <laughs> I suppose it's a shell. Let me look. I guess it could be like a little shell. It is. It's a little shell. Look, I've just figured it out. <laughs> but this is because these aren't 100% size. So that's the one that goes over the top. But that's a little shell, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Denise has worked it out. <laughs> so I shall put that down. And I'm going to get one of these. This thing out and do that. In there and put that over there and I won't probably need that again for a while now let's see I'll cut my flowers out first before I do that um, textured background so yeah I, I really like the DSP linen and I just thought, oh, I'll get the bundle as well. I'm a sucker. <laughs> anyway, so I'll have to cut them one at a time because there's only one flower dye. So that goes down like that. And I'm using my magnetic platform, but that still has been withdrawn from sale, which is a bit sad. But I'm using mine because it works and I'm happy with it. So I'm just going with it. Whilst it still works, I'll still use it. But they are refunding everybody who bought the magnetic platform until they can fine tune it and get it back out there again. So yeah, my daughter's sort of had a little bit of a change of heart about her wedding invitations. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do a few plays this afternoon and see if she likes them, but I'm going to have to get her to come over <laughs> for longer than like, you know, half an hour <laughs> so we can go through it and work it out <laughs> because half an hour is never long enough to work these things out. Okay, so here's this thing. Now let me see what I should do. That maybe if I do that in gold, I might do that. Gold foil. Or the brushed metallics I've got here. I don't think I've got a big enough piece there. So no, let's go with the brushed metallics. And I will chop off a piece. I'm glad you don't have COVID, Lynn. That is good. Because that wouldn't be nice if you had COVID. I mean, flooding's not nice, nice either. <laughs> okay. So we shall. I do like to get all these things off before I put it away. But my, my plate's still working. It's... Not coming apart yet. <laughs> so I will just keep using it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we'll bring 
this back in. Now, we do need this dye brush for this one. To get all the bits out. This is, the, as I said, this dye was the dye that sold me on the bundle because I thought it was interesting and you could do things with it. Do some interesting things with it. So I would probably put adhesive sheet on the back of this if I was running a class because some of my ladies don't like trying to put glue on things. So, and it does make it easier. It's just a little bit more work for me, but that's okay. Get off. Get out of the dye. There we go. Nope. I think that's everything out. Yes. So I shall put that there. Get rid of my bin. <laughs> You've had your four needles. Yeah, well, they're just now saying that over 50s need to have their fourth one as well. So I'll have to go and have my fourth one. So I think it's a good thing. It's better to be safe than sorry. I think it's a good thing. Okay. So that's that die. Yeah, I'm glad I did that in gold. Now I've just got to work out my placement. So if we're going to go portrait way we could do it like that and we could do one flat one up one flat I think that looks nice um, so when I don't use adhesive sheet this is my other option so this this glue is nearly empty but there should be enough for this <laughs> there and I just get an old sponge and do this just dab it over the back of your die and that works really well I'm gonna except there's still one in there and I don't want it get off okay there's still one there so I'm just going to put that at an angle. I'll just hold it down for a minute. So I don't have a card class this weekend and I'm really excited about that. I love my card classes, but I am excited about having a, a free weekend. So you can do a bit of playing and and maybe <laughs> fine tune these wedding invitations still got heaps of time before they have to go out so that's a good thing so we're going to put one down flat so I shall do that and I'm going to put this one up on a dimensional just put one dimensional there this is a, a really good way of showing off your designer series paper too which I really like doing <coughs> so I shall tuck this one up up there so that's now, this one I put up on dimensionals, but I think I might lie this one flat. I think I will. I think it looks better flat. Although, before I do that, wait, everybody. <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> I want to put some ribbon on it. So, we've got this beautiful pool party shimmer ribbon that's carried over. So, I want to do that. 
down here somewhere. So I will just do this. Has this run out? Ah, of course it has. Okay, we'll go to this. This that doesn't work for me very often. <laughs> there we go. So I'll just wrap. This is the way I do my ribbon. I, everybody does their ribbons differently, but this is the way I do it. And that looks pretty straight. So now I can put my glue on it and put it down because then I do my bow separately. So that's the way I do my ribbon. Okay. So that's it. And then I shall get my ribbon back in and make a bow. It's beautiful ribbon, this pool party sheer shimmer ribbon. <laughs> I didn't get it last year, but when they carried it over, I thought, mm, I think I better get that. And it goes beautifully with this sweet. You could also use gold ribbon. You could use some new beautiful cream and, oh, not with white cardstock. <laughs> but there's a few gold ribbons in the catalogue um, that would look lovely with this paper. Just trying to get it perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'll just snip that there and we shall attach it with the good dot. And tidy it up in a minute. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put that. I guess I should. No, I'm going to put it in the centre. <laughs> ah, dear. This is the creative process that Denise goes through. Trim that down. There's always a little bit of wastage with ribbon, but that's okay. So now let me tidy up my desk again. Don't need glue anymore. What I will need is a little strip of cardstock. So let me grab my trimmer. Once again, I'm latching onto a scrap and I'm going to I'll cut it down to half an inch, half an inch. I think that scrap's done for. And I'm not sure if I want one of these greetings. You are amazing beyond measure. Thinking of you, love you. Hmm. I'm going to go to my go-to greetings, my most favourite set. And I'm going to use one of these. Just a note. Will that fit? It might. <laughs> I'm just going to find it in here. Is that, is that it? Just a note. Ooh, it might be too tall. And I think I shall use pool party. Let me practice on the scrap. Okay, let's have a go. Uh, if I pull my head in, bring my head in, I'm sorry, but I just sort of have to see if I can get... Oh! <laughs> that was... That was luck. <laughs> it really was. And I'm just having a bit of a run with my banner punch at the moment. I really love it. So I'm just going to stick that in my banner punch. 
and cut it off and get my little chad bit and put it down this end estimate the same amount of space paper the snip that off and put this back in nice like that now I do want to blues is that blues nope is that blues I'm just gonna get a little bit of pool party and just go over the top Take that real stark white off it and it also grabs the edges and sort of looks like you've daubed the edges as well. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so a couple of dimensionals and I think I've gone about half an hour. So that's the normal amount of time I like to go. <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a beautiful day with the sun finally out. And you can start mopping up a bit, Lynn. Not sure if the rain's meant to come back, but surely it's gone for... It can't come back as severe, surely. Now, I don't know whether I'll put it, um, any bling on that because we've sort of got the gold bling there but I do like that this is another one I'll have to add a greeting to that one so that's my card and a cuppa for today using the textured sheet suite of products this is the dye love this dye <laughs> you can use that dye on so many things you can make it look um a bit rustic and shabby chic <laughs> okay this is my host code for the month of July so if you'd like to place an online order, you most certainly can. And if the order is over $50, you will get this card class in the mail. Keys of happiness. So you'll get these three cards in the mail, all cut up and prepared. All you've got to do is stamp your sentiment. So that's on any order over $50. And um, any orders over $90, you can choose a celebration item um during the months of july and august so let me know if you'd like to order anything i'm happy to help you out with that <laughs> thanks lynn it is and so quick and easy to make it with scraps of dsp in it the designer series paper does really all the hard work i like the flower I haven't stamped with the flower before so i'm happy with that um and this go-to greeting stamp set it's just beautiful. I love this happy birthday. It's quite large, um, but it's just the most beautiful font. Really love it. So that's my card and a cup of today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely rest of the day with this lovely sunshine and enjoy a lovely weekend. And I hope you dry out soon, Lynn, and can get out of the house. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.